Hey guys, Ryan Borden here. I'm working with Chase Reiner and in this video I'm going to cover the expansion of the YouTube video. So on YouTube there's this outrageous bot hack earns $100 a day video. Came out a couple of days ago how you can make money by utilizing HTTPS and selling that to businesses. So in the last video which I just did which is also already in the course I talk about how to get the URLs of the businesses using Scrapebox. And someone asked if you could do this same thing in Website Contact. Yeah, you could get a list of URLs in Website Contact. That would be fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Scrapebox is used for this next part of the process, so I use Scrapebox for this part of the process. But it was with most things, there's usually six different ways to do it. But if I give you six different ways to do something, then you're probably just going to get lost. Most people just want one way to do it and go and do it. So Scrapebox is easy and useful for the next part of the process. So I used it to get the URLs. And last time we got about 10,000 URLs, which we can see here. And basically what I'm going to do is the process here is we're going to websites that don't have HTTPS set up. So HTTPS is um, getting a certificate and you can get free certificates from companies like Let's Encrypt. And most web hosting companies will have a certificate that comes with it. There are paid ones out there as well. So if you're doing, you know, super high end stuff, you might want a paid one. But like 99% of the businesses you're going to deal with, probably almost 100%, aren't really going to be at that level, especially if they haven't set up something. If if they needed that, they would already have it set up. So a free one is going to work fine. And what what it is is it's the little lock icon, right? So if you go to a website and we go to like um I don't know. So I use Chase Bank. So if I go to Chase Bank, they have this little lock icon and it looks a different in different browsers, right? So um, this one is Firefox and Chrome might look a little bit different. But at the end of the day, it means this HTTPS is on here so that everything's secure, which makes it harder for people to steal your credit card information and that sort of thing. It's super useful if you have a store or if you're collecting payments. In my own personal opinion, if you're not collecting any data, such as someone's payments or their personal information, then it's kind of pointless. But Google a few years ago said, hey, listen, um, we are going to, in our own way, kind of punish you if you don't use HTTPS. And they made some different changes, and I think they rolled some of them back. But, for example, if you send a non-HTTPS link in uh, a Gmail email address to, like, Gmail, then when they go to click on it, Google can display a message, pop it up, and say, hey, this link might not be secure, and that sort of thing. Um, if you, all things being totally equal, if you don't have HTTPS on your website, it can be a ranking factor, again, all things being equal, for ranking your website higher if you do have it and lower if you don't have it. People on the whole have come to expect it, which is probably the biggest reason to do it in my opinion, because if they expect it and they go to your website, even if your website is just like an online business card and has information and they don't see the lock sign, then they could take it as not being a trusted business, right? If you're a plumber and all you have on the website is your phone number and whatever, they could take you not having the lock sign as not being legitimate or being unsafe. And so perception is everything, right? So that's why you want to do HTTPS. As far as businesses that don't have it, we only want each unique domain. So like here's four... Uh, URLs from the same domain. So we're going to go in Scrapebox here to remove duplicate domains. And that's going to bring us down to only one URL per domain. So what we're going to do is go up here to remove filter and we're going to go to remove URLs containing HTTPS. So that's going to remove every URL that has HTTPS and that'll leave us with all the URLs that are just HTTP. So now we would take this list of URLs and we would load them in GSA website contact and we would send them a message that says, hey, your website is not secure, you know, yada, yada, yada. So it's not secure. We can fix it for you. Would you like us to do that? And then at that point, you go on and sell them the thing. And so that is how you can find out if a list of URLs is HTTPS or not and why you would want to do that.